Ladies and gentlemen, Spotlight of the City, welcome. We are back. I'm your host, Stan Long, a.k.a. Mr. Motivation, and I have my super-duper co-host back with me. Happy to have her in the building. It's the I'm one and only here. Dana Dane. What's I'm going on, Dana? i here. Nothing much. Still celebrate my birthday. You know, I turned a big four, four on Tuesday. Get out of here. Yeah. Well, I knew it was your birthday. I didn't know how old you was. Yeah, for, oh, I'm not ashamed to say it, honey. You can 44. tell when somebody look good for their age because they come right out and tell you. 44, 44. 44. Honey, yes. <laughs> I'm excited. I, I love it. it. I love it. Happy happy birthday to you. I hope Thank it was all you, you wanted it to be. It was. I'm still so, celebrating. It's not over. I have like four more days. So you was in New York. What was going on? You oh, I just went on a shopping trip with my girlfriend yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Man, Dana, I can't believe you're 44. Yeah, Well, 44. you look amazing. Thank you. We have an amazing show. Speaking of amazing, we have some amazing guests today, you guys. We have the one and only. Dawn Moss. I can't wait to interview her. She has a lot to talk about, and you ladies really need to be in tune with Miss Moss. Trust me, but I won't say too much. Just stick around, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And up next, you just heard from an amazing group, you guys, Forever Yours. They are a totally amazing group. And actually, we don't have a lot of time today because we have a packed show, so we're going to get right to it. They're going to come on set and sing Love of Money for you guys, and um, you, I know all my old heads are familiar. Yes, and I love it. Oldies with that, are goodies. They're getting get ready, ready to turn up, so they're coming on to the stage now. You guys can come on in the building. And so you, you guys are in for a treat. We're going to try to do three sets with them. I love this group. I usually go all over the city and follow them around. I'm like a little, uh, I'm like a forever yours groupie a little bit. And so I had to get them on the show because I was so amazed when I first saw them. I saw them up in Bethesda. What's the name of that joint? Bethesda, Bethesda Blues and Jazz and Blues. Jazz and mm -hmm. Blues Club. I saw them mm -hmm. at the Bethesda Jazz and Blues Club. And then right after that, they was at the Howard Theater turning oh, up. Oh, shucks. I'm excited. This is and our so first And so when I say they turn up, they turns up. And so without further ado, they're going to do a little acapella, if you don't mind, uh, uh, Jacob. Then we're going to go right into it right after that. So without further ado, you guys, welcome to Spotlight of the City, the one and only Forever Yours. train a coming don't need no baggage you just get on board all I need is faith to hear the diesel humming don't need no ticket you just thank the Right here is a song that we like to dedicate for all the people that's making their own and their own decisions. But you know, sometimes we have people that's trying to tear us down. So we want to generate about that
Once again, we are forever young. Performing for you live right here. Come on. Some people got to have it. Yeah, boy, yeah. Some people really need it. Oh, got to give me all. I do things, do things, do things, bad things with it. You wanna do things, do things, do things, good things with it. Talking about cash money, dollar bills, y'all. Come on now. Well, well. Bring it down. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sing that good. Can I borrow your mic though for one second? Can I get in the group if I just hit one note? Yeah, go ahead. Let me hit one. That's it. This is my thing. Hit one. We're looking for a fifth guy. Y'all looking for somebody? Yeah, we're looking for a fifth guy. Get my damn steps together. <laughs> you know what? I'm a hold fast on that. I'm a hold. I was getting ready to do it though. Introduce yourself to us. We're gonna introduce you guys, and, and then we're gonna bring you back on for another segment. All right. I'm Tony Petty. Tony Petty. Lorenzo Johnson. Lorenzo Johnson. Kevin Pierre Bell. 
You the newest of the group. Tony, <laughs> you the newest of the group. Yeah, I remember now Blues Alley, you had came on the scene. I remember that. I'm Tyrone Toomer. Mr. Tyrone Toomer. Give it up, you guys, for yours. No. Forever yours. I'm going to say truly yours. I'm sorry. I love you guys. I fo of course, you know, I always support you guys. I go oh, yeah. where you guys go. Yeah. I love what you guys are doing. Amazing talent. I wish you well. Come back on the next segment and give them some more. You want to do one more real quick before you run off? Okay, we'll bring y'all back on the next. We'll bring you back on the next segment and get another one. How about that? Give it up for them guys. Wow, Man. I love oldies but goodies. I was over here singing and dancing. I'm glad the camera wasn't on me because I was over here zoned out. Dang, I was getting ready to do it. They I, were great. I, I I'm glad you didn't. I I, was, we might have lost some viewers if you got up there and started singing. Y'all, you know what, y'all? What did y'all think about that group? What do you think? Give it up for them. Them guys are amazing. They're awesome. they, they are all over the place. We're going to bring them back on and um, talk a little bit about what they got going on. But they're all over the place performing uh, uh, jazz. What's the Bethesda Jazz and Blues? They do that a lot. Um, a few other venues that I'm. I don't want to say because I don't want to misquote or say the wrong thing. But those guys are amazing. And also, give it up to uh, Anissa Twink Hargrove. She also, they're, they're a closely knitted group. Oh, like, they okay. also do a lot of entertaining together. And she was just traveling overseas, too. And she was another amazing guest that we had on our show. I think yes. she was just in Spain. She was in Spain, yeah, opening up for Gloria mm -hmm. Gaynor. Yep. And I some other things that. was going on. So shout out to Twink Anissa Hargrove. And well, we are going to start having live performances on, on a regular. regular basis. So it just felt good just to see the performers up there. It was I, I loved it. I, I loved that. it a lot. I thought it was amazing. And yes, we're going to use the whole platform from here on out. And so any amazing talent that want to be on Spotlight Over the City, you can inbox us at uh, spotlightovercity.com or you can inbox me personally at uh, circle underscore seven ENT at yahoo.com. So. Let's get it popping. We got to keep Let's it moving. Let's get our first guest. We have an amazing guest up next, you guys. We're going to go to a commercial. And when we come back, we have someone who's known to have put sipping paint on the map around here in the DMV. That's right. So That's next, right. Up, next up, let me, wait. Let me get my reading glasses together. Right. You killed Can't me with Can't see out glasses. of those. That's just for sure. We have the one and only <laughs> <laughs> Serena Gardner coming up, and she is going to tell us a little bit about sipping paint. So you guys be up next, Spotlight Over the City. We'll, we'll go be to right back. Don't we'll you go right anywhere. right back. Can we get a little encore? I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See those superstars. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Spotlight of the City. They got me sweating. I'm singing. I'm running. My seat going down on the ground. Oh goodness, but guess what? <laughs> <laughs> it's live TV, baby. We live Spotlight of the City with our new guest. What's going on, miss? Hi. How you doing today? Man, we talk about a little sipping uh, and a little paint. What's going on with that? Okay. I sip and paint in Prince George's County. So we are the premier paint 
company wonderfully made for you. That's the name of my business, and we travel to you. We bring the paint party to you in your home or in a restaurant. That's what we do. How long have you been in business? I've been in business for three years now, and on November the 1st, 2017, it will be four years. How did you get into the business? I always ask people that because so many people are entrepreneurs and sometimes they accidentally find their niche. Is this something that you were into? Were you an artist? Have you always been an artist? How did it happen? No, I am the uh, coordinator behind the scenes. I get the uh, artists and the team leaders to the party. I organize everything. I'm okay. better at that. That's what I love to do. But I love art, so, you know, but I kind of bring the people together. I'm very organized in that way, so we have never disappointed a person. We always on time. We arrive an hour early to set up for your party. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You are rare. That's because so real. many people are late, yeah. late, 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 late. I am such a, I'm so, I'm such a person that's on time. I would rather be, like you said, early than late. But can you please talk to my circle of people? Because they don't <laughs> get it. Good gracious. You yeah. have to be a breath of fresh air to work with. Yes. You know, we actually rather our um, before time. We set up for your party. And we, even if you're late starting, we know how to get the party back on track. That's great. And be finished within two hours. That's awesome. That's an awesome so way what, to do business. So what brings sip and paint? Like, what makes a person want to do sip and paint? Is that, I know men don't get into that. So Men do sip and paint. Yes, really? Excuse you. Okay, yes. well, let me don't put that out there let me <laughs> they okay. come to the table maybe stand on sip and paint okay so let, let's talk about it okay we'll so stay. when when you first got involved what made you say okay we're gonna do you know because they had a lot of different little things where they come to your house and do da 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 da, da. why sip and paint of all things okay one thing people are getting bored with the same old thing you know People go out to parties, they stand around, they talk, they socialize. Sipping and painting give you something extra to do. It gives True. you something to while you're um, talking and drinking, you get to paint as well. So it's like an activity. So we bring the activity into the existing function that you have. It. Right. We give them something to do, like a game that you play. Instead of you playing a game, you paint. And it's very like therapeutic. It, it is yes. very, yes, very it is. therapeutic, I tell you that. So, so. you've participated? I you have know, before. Sip and yeah, paint. And, and those were, I, I like to sip, so it worked out very well. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out, yeah. So I, I'm assuming the sipping affects the paint. Right. Once you start once, sipping, once you get to I mean, sipping, your, 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 your glass your, may not look paint, like this. Your, your, your paint job might not be that well, but you're <laughs> sipping, like so you don't really care. You're having fun, you're you sipping, you're painting, right. you're, and you're, you're going to like it. Yeah. Yes, it's pretty fly. Yeah, and you're enjoying yourself. So right, it's, exactly. And, and that's what it's about. You're having a good time socializing, painting, and it doesn't cost you a lot. See, the paint, one of these glasses is only $10. So if you want to do two, it's 20 and you want wow. to do a canvas, it's $35. If we come to you, if you come to us, it's $30. Okay. So we, 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 we make it affordable. And I think that's, that's what people affordable. like, too. They right. like that's the fact affordable. that it's, it's something to do, it's entertaining, and it doesn't cost that much. And what he said about the men, he's right in some aspects because this is very popular for the ladies. The ladies love it. Men come to our tables, but not as much as the right. ladies do. Yeah, okay? yeah, so when men do a sim thank you, thank you. Give it up! To, <laughs> give it up for my amazing! Give it up for my amazing uh, engineer slash producer right. man, Jacob in the building. Shout out to Lizard Vision too. So anyway, I, I I guess I wouldn't see myself doing it, but oh, I know. Well, I mean, as a man. Oh, let me tell you, something just clicked in my head on Facebook. I will, I can't remember which one of my Facebook friends said it and posted the pictures, but one of my Facebook friends posted her. Boyfriend, I think, for his birthday party, she did a sip and paint. But it was something that went around the sip and paint. They were dancers, exotic dancers. So the men were sipping and painting, but they were painting the naked, beautiful lady. So that's, that's how you get men run. engaged, right? Now, see, now and I just talk. saw that. So that's a home run right there. You have there. to engage You're gonna have to bring some naked women. Like, right? <laughs> You're going to have to bring naked women to the function. So when yeah, we really, did, I we could have... But no, in all honesty, I think that's a brilliant and idea. I just saw it on my um, Facebook page last week. Yeah, I, I saw like one of my that. friends did that for her boyfriend. And the guys looked like they were having an amazing time. I would do that for Because then you could bring it to the man it's cave fun. and have like, sit, what, what would we call that? Um, sip and view. <laughs> sip, paint, and view. I, mean, <laughs> I almost messed up. Okay, so I'm okay, trying to, well, we, I don't know. But I, I well, like we, that idea, though. Well, I think that's well, pretty wonderfully hot. made for you do for the men. We bring beer glasses, and the men oh. like to paint that. I have done a housewarming party for a man, and he just was having his friends over. He he actually had a lot of men come to the table. They painted the beer glasses. So instead oh, of the wine fine. glasses, the men like the beer glasses. Exactly. That will engage them. Yeah. I was thinking about, like, for bachelor parties. That would be good. What Dana said.
said, if you had that type of setting for like a bachelor party. You stuck on it now that yeah, I said I'm, 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 trying to have a sipping All I'm thinking plate. about is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to have to call you about the sipping plate. You are not yes. having that for your bachelor party. Do Stand, don't try. And you get ready to get married when in three weeks? Yeah, too? I'm going to turn up for the. I'm like, you got to turn up before you do it, right? You're supposed and to have Dana a nice bachelor party. Dana didn't want you over with sipping yeah. plate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I, so I, I, I know that it's a good thing. Terry, you hear this? I know you're watching, Terry. You hear him. You see what he wants to do now. Yeah, I want to I want to have a naked sipping plate or something. like yeah. crazy. So, but anyway. Let me get off of that. I'm leading with. Okay, so we know that you've been doing this. How long you say have, have you been in business? I've been in business for three years. I love what I do. I travel to the customer. I'm always on time. We not only do glass, we do canvases too. And as you can see, and um, canvases, people yes. love it. This is the fly chick. So this is very popular and for this year. This has been our popular painting, which is the fly chick, and she has been filling parties up, selling out like crazy. Okay, so we love her. So That's when you cute. come there and people not like myself that can't paint anything, mm -hmm. what what do you do to like say we come in, we have an immense segment? Do you assist the the people at paint, or you just kind of let them go and they kind of? Okay, well, make it their own. Well, so we have artists who comes in and they give you step by step direction how to paint this picture on oh, a canvas. Oh. You don't need any mm -hmm. experience. We walk oh, okay. you through the process yeah, from beginning to fine. end, and before you leave, you'd be surprised what you can do. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so you think I, I could that. do something like this? Yes, you. I can. know you could. Yes. This stretching it for me. I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> I'm still drawing stick people. So matter of fact, I had some men this may to not be paint cool. her. I had, yeah. and, and when they paint the fly chick, is it comes out so beautiful because men see women differently than we see ourselves. So I see the men doing even a better job than the women. So we, we have wow. men that have, that have painted fly chick. Yeah, yep. so I could get me like a chalice and paint like, put like the mm -hmm. little crazy glasses on it and make them all crazy yes. looking. we done and had people put stars on it instead of a round circle. We done had heart-shaped glasses. It's your canvas, so you, you do what you want to do. You had another canvas that I wanted to show them, too, as well. Okay. You had some nice pieces. Um, okay, so Can she, we get one or two more of the gonna, good pieces that you, you showed me more. before? Yeah, work. I want to show off some of your talent. Oh, so where do they find you when someone wants to do a sip and paint? Where do they think you? Okay, you go to our uh, webpage, this Wonderfully nice. Made like For You. That. That's the colorful eye. That's we beautiful. painted that last year. That was our bestseller. I Th love that. That, um... Raised us so much money. Oh, my goodness. We made a lot of money off of Colorful Eye last year. We have done 200 parties in 2016. We hope to do 300. 200. Congratulations. 200 parties. Yes, we, we hope to do 300 in um, 2017. Wonder Woman. This is Wonder Woman. It doesn't have a like face. You want to talk about that a little bit? No yeah. face. Well, we your face could be there. Anybody's face. We want to let her be Wonder. Something that you just... You paint and, yes, okay. and you create your own. No faceless, That's because your so face could be take the place of Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. So we this one is popular. We just sold out on that too. We're going to be um, painting Wonder Woman at Brown Station Road at my studio mm -hmm. um, in Upper Marlboro, Maryland by the Dutch Market. We're going to be painting this on July the 5th. So right after the 4th of July, you're going to be able to paint Wonder Woman. That has, that has been a a top seller for right now because of the movie it's popular the right. ladies want to paint it they come out with their wonder woman t-shirts on the ladies really love it okay That's so hot. what about for the men do you guys have any like why we don't have a superman painting <laughs> if that's what you if that's what you want at your party we could you can make it happen yes we can make it happen you actually when you book a party with us you choose the painting you want to be painted at your venue there you go yeah i would choose the eye all of them are cute, mm -hmm. but the eye just did something for me when I saw that. That was really sexy. Yeah, I like the eye. colors like in it. That. I thought yeah. the colors pop. Mm -hmm. you know, like the, the same paint, the same person painted all of them? No, we have different artists. Our artists, a lot of them work for Prince George's County School System. Mm -hmm. We even have an artist for Charles County School System. So we have male and female. I have a staff of 10 artists, and I have team leads, which are... They do the glass painting. They they lead the, those painting, but the artist do, does the canvas. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, congratulations yeah. on everything that you're doing, and I wish yes. you much success. Well, Thank you. 200 parties in 2016. It looks like you're doing something right. Thank and you. And the right. people really like you. So, again, congratulations. Thank you so, so much. So, let's, let's see if we can get that information out to the public. You guys yeah, make sure all you have your information. sipping paint. You, and it's not just for women. I just learned <laughs> That's that. That's right. You men, we can have sipping paint in the, in the, in the, in the damn... What is it going to be? In the man cave mm -hmm. with some naked women 
and beer paint, beer bottles, all of that. You can do that. And we'll also put your information, your contact information on our spotlight over the city page too. So give it to our viewers right now. So okay. Can contact you. So you could uh, contact Wonderfully Made for you at Wonderfully Made the number four then y o u dot com. So you could book your party right from our website. Everything you could pay your deposit, uh, pick your picture. You can do everything right from our website. website. Okay. And you guys on Facebook also, as well. Also, we're on Facebook, so you could do Wonderfully Made for you. Uh, wonderfully made for you with the number four. That's how you find us. Not F O U R. It's number the number four. four. The number four. Then it's Y O U. Also, we on Instagram and Twitter. Same thing. Wonderfully made for you. Okay, well, y'all heard it and you saw it. So start booking your parties. And again, we're going to put all of our contact information on our Spotlight Over the City page. And I'm definitely going to be a supporter of you. So my girls and I, I can tell you now, you have my word on that. We're going to support you and I'm going to do that and have my girls come over and we're going to sip and paint. Wonderful. And I know you're going to love it. Yeah. You're going to love it. I've done it before. Yeah, I see it on Facebook a lot. It seems to be fun. It seems to be fun. Okay. All right. So you're going to book one too? I'm going to book one too. (laughs) All right. Wonderful. But I'm trying to work on my bachelor party. So we can talk about that off the step. That's what I'm trying. That's going to be a little bit. I was just trying to work. Kind of crazy. Don't do that. No. Nothing. Okay. So anyway, you guys, (laughs) (laughs) wonderfully made for. You That's don't forget right. it's the, the four, four, the number four. You check them out, they're doing big things in the city. I love what they're doing. Um, thanks for coming on Spotlight Over the yeah. City. Thank you. We up next, we have you. another live performance getting ready to come up. We're going to turn on to the stage one more time right after this commercial. Jacob, we'll be right back. Spotlight Over the City. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. Spotlight. We are forever yours once again. And uh, before we get started with the next song, I like to start it off with just a little something uh, from one of my main artists. Uh, his name is Tyrese, and it goes something like this: I need your forgiveness and your mercy too. Must be all kind of crazy what I've done for you. I hope 
you understand that my heart is true mistakes i made them but i'm making plans for you have i learned is your question and my answer i have but if you're expecting perfection then we're not gonna last this is not an excuse i'm just telling the truth baby i'm so sorry for hurting you oh i'm a shade of me that's it that's it <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for coming on. So real quick, Tony, first up, where you from? Washington, D.C. Oh, you the homeboy. Born and raised. Tyrone. Washington, D.C. Another homeboy. <laughs> yeah, New York City. Okay, we let him in. That's okay. He can sing. So we just <laughs> let his ass come in the building. He from New York. Okay, we ain't gonna hold that against you. That's, I got family there. I'm gonna call him Maryland. I'm gonna call him Maryland. Okay, that's still the home. DMV, baby. It's DMV. I really appreciate you guys coming on. First of all, what's up with this Forever Yours? What, who titled the group? Um, we were kicking around some names and stuff, and I came up with uh, <coughs> one of the songs from um, the OJ's collection. It's called Forever Mine. And so I said, well, what about Forever Yours? And Tyrone was like, I'm with that. That's, it worked, right? Yeah, it worked. Okay. 
So now, what are some of your influences? Like, when you get in the car, what you listening to? Oh, I'm listening to a little bit of everything, but um, more I stick I stick more closely to uh, the classic classic R and B. Gotcha. So ain't no Rick Rolls in the dash, like in my car. <laughs> that ain't happening. That's in my car. I'm just letting you know. It's not my error. It's not your error. One forty nine. How old are you? Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Only. <laughs> Only and not your era. <laughs> okay, Tyrone, when you get in the car, what you listening to? The OJ. <laughs> I can dig it. <laughs> I can dig it. How about you, Champ? Yeah, anything old. I like old school. Okay, okay. How about you, Champ? Yeah, I'm a young man with an old soul. That's about it. That's it. So it's gonna be Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah. This and that. I ain't mad at that. That's real music. Mm -hmm. That's school. real music. Oh, right. It really is lost. So how did you guys meet? Anybody want to take that? Oh, Tony and I have been singing together for about 30 years. Um, and basically, over the last few years, we've been talking about doing a tribute show, OJ tribute show. So that's how this it came about. And then we recruited uh, Pierre and Lorenzo, and we put it together, and that's what we're trying to do. And you guys have been making beautiful music ever since. Ever, ever since. Okay. So how does this music affect you guys individually? Like... You know, when you baby guys, making, baby making music. You like to make baby making music. Yeah. Uh, well, y'all can come to the bachelor party then. When, That's when, it's going down. When I first really started uh, listening to the OJs, I was probably about seven, you know. But my mom played their songs. That's what happened so, to all of us. Yeah, exactly. So it, it, that that's what happened with me as far as uh, the OJs is concerned. But that's the music. I mean, I don't fault any music. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But that music is is homegrown. You know, and, and, and you can remember what you were doing when a certain song was played. And that's what I like. That's what. Right. I like, like, I remember being 16 and Songs in the Key of Life mm -hmm. with the rainbow on the cover with a double yep. album. I had never heard of a double album before. Yep. And my aunt mm -hmm. bought that for me for my 16th birthday. And I never <laughs> forgot the music, the quality of that music is amazing. Right to this day, Stevie wanted to show that he was so much of a visionary and so ahead of his time right. as a person. So we're going to wrap it up, you guys, because we got a packed house today. But I thank you guys for coming on. Tell me a little bit about what you got coming up next, like your next show, uh, the next where they can reach you guys. Big show night. is July 22nd uh, with uh, Robert Smoot Entertainment. We're at the Carlisle Club. July. Okay, the Carlisle Club. Right. In Virginia? Right. Very nice venue. I'm already Very familiar nice with it. Ron Wood. Shout out to Ronald Wood. He does the jazz down there a lot. Oh, okay. At the Carlisle. Yeah. Okay. We did so what's the date? on that Saturday. What's the date? July 22nd. July 22nd, Carlisle mm -hmm. Club. Yeah, that'll be the next big venue. Um, okay, so where can they go to, f you know, if they don't remember this, where can they go and look at Facebook? Right. Our Facebook page. Uh, Is it Forever Yours? Forever right. Yours, Facebook? Oh, right, exactly. Got you. How about Twitter, Instagram? Right. No. And we have, no, we don't have Twitter and Instagram, but we have the Facebook and we have the link gotcha. uh, that they can log on or you can go to call our website. Got you, got you, right. got you, got you. Mm -hmm. So you guys make sure you support these guys because they are amazing. As you can see, Forever Yours, they do their thing. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Love Thank having you. you on and come back anytime. Open invitation. Oh, yeah. Thank appreciate you. you, Tyrone. Appreciate the group. Right. You guys be good. All right.
who I knew could do the job. And Sassy right. was my co-host on Spotlight Over the City for two years. Not Spotlight Over the City. DMV Socialites. DMV Socialites yes. radio show for two years. Yeah. So Sassy is actually sitting in, taking over on Spotlight Over the City for the month of July because Dana Dane has some other work to do. But I will be back in August. That's great. And yes. we have, congratulations, Sassy. Well, thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. you. <laughs> I trust you. Stan can trust you. Yes. So we know with me being gone, we're not going to miss a beat. Not at all. And we have... Dawn Moss here, and I'm happy to be a part of her upcoming event, and we're going to talk a lot about that. She is also the founder of Good Girls Getting Better, and she's having a VIP empowerment brunch. So I'm going to let Dawn introduce herself and tell you all who she is and what Dawn Moss is about. <laughs> well, thank you, Dana Dane. You're welcome. I am so excited to be here, and I am just super, super proud of you. Thank you so much. You know, Dawn. a lot of I guess a lot of people don't know. I've been watching you for years and you've been saying this, you've been coming to the Carolina Kitchen. I'm the executive uh, uh managing partner, vice president. Before y'all opened, I was sitting up and in there and you were sitting before the bar, girl, no, before the restaurant part was Before the open, restaurant yeah. part was sitting open. there talking. And you were doing About, your thing yeah. and you were just giving the vision of where I you sure were going. Was. You Thank gave you, that, that that had to be like Eight nine mm -hmm. years ago, and you said it, and now you're doing it. So now I gotta get coming like thank you. I gotta give you much thank props. You so I much. admire you so much, and I'm so proud of you. Keep doing your thing. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, and you are amazing too. So we've been watching each other, honey, girl. <laughs> so the first question I want to ask you okay. is, what motivates you? Motivated you to create the Good Girls Brunch? All right. So um, I've been. I'm a former Miss Black USA in 1996, and I also. Um, executive um, produced Miss Black USA over in the Gambia, okay. West Africa. So I had a chance to go global and apply my skills. I've been one of uh, Mr. Lance London's apprentices since I was 17 years old. Okay. So um, building up the restaurant, we've been in business 22 years. Um, I just wanted to apply all of the principles and things that I have been doing over the years. I've been in the kitchen because we were building up the, right. the restaurant. Right. You know, we have five locations. Our original store burnt down. We just opened uh, Brandywine uh, five months ago. So good girls getting better has been in my spirit for a long time. And I just decided, let me come out of the kitchen right. and let me, you know, bring together some of the resources and some of the tap into some of the connections that I've made over the years, not only as uh, Miss Black USA, but um, as a executive and um, entrepreneur in the Carolina Kitchen. So I decided that I just wanted to do this. It was, God commissioned me. Right. Let me yeah. just say okay. that. He okay. said, do it. And I was like, well, hold up, hold, hold up, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> hold up. <laughs> so he commissioned me to do it. And I was like, okay, now? And he said, yes. So I just figured that, um, let me just go ahead and put it out there. Um, I had a lineup of people that um, were in my spirit that I wanted to put on the program because these are individuals that are under the radar. Right. You don't see them. They're behind the scenes like me, mm -hmm. but they're out there and they're doing global, mm -hmm. national right. and international yeah. things. And they're in educations, they're professors, they're principles they are entrepreneurs and i mean it was just it was just phenomenal so that's great. um i just I, I i decided that it was something i had to do i admire you for saying what you just said because <laughs> sassy you know what i you know what just clicked in my brain right when you said that because so many people in this area are so clickish they don't want you on their no. they don't want you on their events if it's everybody so doesn't true. know you if everybody's mm -hmm. not saying your name so i admire you for walking in your own lane and bringing your people with you that's hard to find in this area. I commend you for that. I, I really do appreciate it. And you're a testament of that. Because Definitely. Dana, I've watched you, you know, in establishing me, you was always on the go. And, but you always spoke your vision into yeah. existence. And mm -hmm. that that's, I mean, hey, you know, like minds think alike. And right. so I was like, let me just go ahead and um, blaze my own trail and just started and I stepped out on faith. Uh, Mr. London, Lance London told me a long time ago because when I got into the restaurant business, I thought God was punishing me because I was like, who would ever wanna be around <laughs> restaurant food, cooking right. fried fish and salmon and you know all that good mm -hmm. stuff, collard greens, macaroni and cheese, yams, plug it in. you know, all, all that, that good stuff. Plug it all in. That good <laughs> stuff. But I was like, Lord, what is this about? 
And um, he said to me, he said, let me tell you two things. He said, when you go into business with God, you will never go out of business. Hmm. And then he said, successful people, they never pick and choose what they do. As long as it's legal and morally right, they do what it takes to become successful. Amen to that. So I got back in the kitchen. I started shucking collard greens. Amen to that. Amen. Amen. And potatoes. And, um, you know, it became my ministry. You know, Ooh. through helping others get what they want, you get what you Definitely. want. Definitely. I, so, I always say that. Yeah, That's so it's true. always about service. Sassy, you want to ask Miss Moss anything? Yeah, but before I do that, hey, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Dana and Stan. I just had to plug that in. But I want to give a nugget. And the nugget is you always remain humble and you never burn a bridge because you never know when your mm-hmm. path is going to cross. So I'm sitting here next to Don Moss, right? Mm-hmm. She probably doesn't recognize my face, but if I tell her that I was in her restaurant hosting an event for a gospel artist named Touched, she may know who I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you know you what I mean? You just, I did. Thank you so you much. Thank you so too. kindly. I sure do. Thank you. But I'm just saying that to say you just never know when it's your paths are going to cross. Amen. And it is a small world. And you never know who knows who and how you can and come back together and potentially help each other grow. Exactly. So you just never want to burn bridges was basically the nugget. So if we could sneak into your event, what is the lineup going to look like? Can you give us a little bit of that? Well, you know, um, I, I I was just truly blessed to um, have a, a friendship and associate Miss um, Ali, dynamic um, public um, don't don't let me get it wrong. What dynamic is it right? public relations. Public relations. And I've been watching this young lady, just like I've been watching you. And I was like, you know what? I I would love to have her, a sister like her on a program. I've been watching her career and I reached out to her and I was like, I would love to have you speak. We need to hear your story. And um, she uh, gladly ex- accepted the invitation and um, we've been pretty much running ever since. We partnered up and I I'm just, I thank God for that for this sister here. So she's on the lineup. I have the founder and CEO of Miss Black USA, um, one of my mentors. She's wow. on the on the program. I mean, winning the title of Miss Black USA, um, it was more. It's not about the crown in your head. It's all about the crown in your heart. Right. And mm-hmm. I'm 21 in that system, and. God gave me an opportunity and a platform to speak from that I've, I, it's still, it's still going. Yeah. So I have her, she's doing some dynamic things. Um, I have um, Adelicia Patron who is traveling globally. She has her own um, hairline. She goes into um, different countries and teaches wow. the technique of, mm. of hair care and all of that stuff. And she's like, has her own factories and her own style. I mean, she's going to be there. She's That's traveling cool. all over the world from China to Vietnam, um, just everywhere, j- nice. just doing a daggone thing. So and give her a little blue. Oh, oh, oh right. yeah. <laughs> and it's pretty. <laughs> so, I mean, just to, just to name a few, I have uh, one of my best friends from, um, from Morgan State University. Uh, she's a vice principal in Baltimore City Schools, and she's going over the system and how education is um, key and how the system is failing our children. She's mm-hmm. gonna be talking about that. So I have, um, everything. oh yeah, I have a first lady that's coming from New Jersey, you know, who's been behind her husband. She just graduated from uh, from college and got her degree. I have Kamika Lynette um, Bell, who is, um, uh, 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 she's a former, she was in the Miss USA system. Mm-hmm. And she's doing some innovative things and taking young people all over the world and traveling and doing some dynamic things. And she has a ministry. I mean, the, the list yeah, some just awesome women to go on. Yeah. I mean, and they're making dollars. I know that's I was, right. um, I was in an event a couple of weeks ago and, um, Miss Jolly, D Jolly was there mm-hmm. and I had to speak behind her. But she said, you know what? She said, it's not about, you know, how many people like you. She said, at the end of the day, when you close your door and you're Mm -hmm. in that room, what is your testimony to? What have you done to give back? Mm -hmm. What kind of service have you done? And then at the end of the day, Mm -hmm. what is your bottom line? Are you making money? Mm -hmm. (laughs) So enterprise is key. So, you know, I'm holding it at the Carolina Kitchen. Um, The menu is just 
phenomenal. Well, it's know. amazing. I know. I mean, we have like, you know, yeah, bottomless yeah. mimosas <laughs> and we have um, Cavassier. We, ha we have all kinds of um, people that are going to be there to um, to share in, in, in this festival. I festive. have a question. Can men come event. to this event? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's important. Our men need to be a part of, um, of, of this event and what we're doing and our dialogue and what it is that we're doing, right. you know? So behind every good man, there is a woman. woman. So, you know, we're, we're yes, doing yes. it. So absolutely, men are invited to come. How do you manage your personal life and your busy life with business? How do you manage that? Um, I, I, you know, that's a good question. And I was just thinking about it today. And it's just like... You just hold on to God's unchanging hand. Like that. you have to hold on to your vision and silence all the noise, you yeah, know, and right. you have to pour and sow into these individual, these young people, because our company is ran by young people. And so when I realized that it wasn't about the food, it wasn't mm -hmm. about, you know, cooking. And even though that's important, mm -hmm. you know, food so. better be bomb when you come up in there and do <laughs> right. the Carolina right. kitchen, you know. Um, but it's about sewing and developing. Right. And so that's what keeps me going because every day is different. I get to sew and pour and minister to, you know, my, my staff who, you know, I just, just this season, I had nine graduates from Howard university and that have worked the their show. way. Oh yeah. They, oh. they are doing it. That's they awesome. are doing it and, and they make money. Oh so. my goodness. Don, I, I need an hour with you. We had such a busy yes. show today. We have such a busy show. So what I'm going to do, I want you to tell everybody watching how they can contact you okay. and just tell them the address for the event. Again, I'm also going to put all of this information in reference to Don's event on my personal page and on Thank the you. spotlight over the city page. So tell our viewers how they can get in touch with you okay. and find out more about the event. Okay, awesome. It's Good Girls Getting Better. We can find us, you can find us on Eventbrite. Just Good Girls Getting Better. You can go right there and purchase your ticket, get it, because they're going fast. And the event is going to be at the Carolina Kitchen in Hyattsville. It's uh, 6501 America Boulevard in Hyattsville, Maryland. 6501 America Boulevard, Hyattsville, Maryland. And you can call the restaurant and we can direct you to where you need to purchase your tickets. 301-927-2929. Thank you so much for being here, Dawn. And I will be at the event. I'm super excited about a spotlight over the city. Yes. We'll be there representing. And then we're going to have Miss Dynamic Public Relations come on the show, Allie. And she's going to oh. talk about how great the event was. Okay. So we'll have her yes. on here after that. Oh, that's going to so be So I'm awesome. excited. But Thank don't you. forget our amazing, our amazing new oh, yes, yeah, you know I wasn't co-host, oh. the wonderful Miss Sassy, Sassy Way. Way. Little so, Sassy so, so I'm going to close out. We got to get out of here. We got another show coming. But thank you, Dawn, thank for you. coming on. You were amazing, it. as usual. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you for having you're, me. Coming on. You're so welcome. So I'll, thank I'll you for having me. I'll let you say a few words uh, on the way out, out the show. Since oh. You, since you oh, knew. On the way you, out the show over there? The no, right here. Oh, okay. I'll, just, I'll let you end it up. Hmm. What can I end it with? Something quick, because we got to go. We got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember when we had, we had it all, you and I, you and I, yay. We will have Sassy performing on the big stage. I don't know about my guest co-host, I'm trying to tell y'all she's going to be on the stage next week, ain't no way she can sit over here. Now, anyway, Spotlight over the city. Spotlight, Spotlight over the over city, the you city. guys. We got to go. Thursday. Love hard, live good, God first. Yes. See this.